hello everyone and welcome back into my channel hope you are all doing well so dear students so far we have discussed the taylor series method modified euler's method now in this video i'll be discussing range kata method of fourth order so it is far more accurate than euler's method and range kata method of second order so let's see the procedure so first of all we will be having the initial value problem in which dy by dx uh, is equal to f of x comma y this will be given equation will be given differential equation so y of x naught is equal to y naught this is the initial condition what we have to find that is y at x1 which is also called as y1 so the y1 which we have to calculate rk method gives that particular y1 so rk method of fourth order is given by y of x1 y of x1 is equal to y naught plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 where these k1 and k2 k3 k4 are given these k1 k2 k3 k4 are nothing but slopes so k1 is equal to h of f of x naught comma y naught k2 is equal to h of f of x naught plus h by 2 comma y naught plus k1 by 2 k3 is equal to h of f of x naught plus uh, h by 2 comma y naught plus k by 2 k4 is equal to h of f of x naught plus h comma y naught plus k3 so these are the formulas for k1 k2 k3 and k4 which uh, you no need to worry about these formulas will be given in your handbook only thing is you need to follow the procedure and just solve the questions were there so first of all we have the question use range kata method of fourth order to find y at x is equal to 0 0.5 for an initial value problem x plus y dy by dx is equal to 1 and y of 0 0.4 is equal to 1 this is our initial condition okay so first of all we will try to make this as function of x comma y as in the beginning itself i have told you uh, the function will be given dy by dx is equal to function of x comma y so here we have on the right hand side only one so this is not the function of x plus uh, y so i can write down here in the solution first of all i will write down dy upon dx is equal to one divided by this i will shift x plus y i will shift on right hand side so it is in the multiplication here it will divide so one divided by x plus y is our dy by dx so now i can see that this function is in terms of x and y this is the function of x and y now i can write down the given data so given data is nothing but initial condition y of 0 0.4 is equal to 1 so this 0 0.4 is nothing but x naught c cell y of x naught is equal to y naught so here we have x naught here we have 0 0.4 so x naught value is 0 0.4 so x naught is equal to 0 0.4 and instead of y naught we have here 1 right so y naught is equal to 1 this is our given condition and uh, what is our step size and h is not given in the problem right so how to find h you know already the formula for h so x1 is equal to x0 plus h from the Euler's method itself so x1 is equal to x0 plus h i can write down here to find y at x is equal to 0 0.5 so that is nothing but x1 so here in the definition itself we have to find y at x1 which is also called as y1 so here in the question they are asked uh, to find y at x is equal to 0 0.5 this x is nothing but x1 so x1 value is 0 0.5 which is equal to x0 so x0 value is 0 0.4 plus h so 0 0.5 minus this 0 0.4 i will shift on left hand side so minus 0 0.4 which is equal to h so h is nothing but 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4 that is nothing but 0 0.1 this is our h value i hope you are getting my point now now you have to simply follow the formula that is range kata method of fourth order i can write down here y of x1 is equal to y naught plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 right now uh, first of all i will calculate these k1 k2 k3 and k4 then i will accordingly put down these all values in this particular equation we will get the required answer first of all let's calculate k1 so here we have k1 is equal to formula h of f of x dot comma y naught so h of f of x naught comma y naught try to put down the values h value is nothing but 0 0.1 multiplied by function of x naught comma y naught so what is the x naught value see here x naught value is 0 0.4 comma y naught value is 1 so now you can see that 0 0.1 multiplied by function of 0 0.4 comma 1 what does this mean so this is nothing but function of x comma y so this is your x this is your y value 
see here now in the equation dy by dx is equal to 1 upon x plus y you have to put down these values instead of x you will put down 0 0.4 instead of y you will put down 1 i can write down on this side now so 1 divided by x x value is 0 0.4 plus y value is nothing but 1 so which is equal to 1 divided by 1.4 let me calculate this in kelc now so this is what 1 divided by 1.4 which is equal to 0 0.7142 so which is equal to 0 0.7142 okay so i can write down here now 0 0.7142 multiplied by this 0 0.1 so multiplied by 0 0.1 which is equal to 0 0.0714 0 0.0714 is your k1 value okay make a box for it so that this can be highlighted so k1 value we are getting 0 0.0714 now in order to proceed for k2 we have again the formula right k2 is equal to so k2 is equal to h of f of h of f of x0 plus h by 2 comma y0 plus k1 by 2 so h of f of x0 plus h by 2 comma y0 plus k1 by 2 okay now which is equal to h value is 0 0.1 multiplied by function of x0 x0 value is nothing but 0 0.4 it is given in the problem right plus h h value is also given 0 0.1 divided by 2 comma y0 value is 1 y0 value is 1 plus k1 we have calculated 0 0.0714 0 0.0714 divided by 2 just calculate this much 0 0.1 into function of first of all i will calculate the inner values 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.45 so 0 0.45 comma and 1 plus division mode 0 0.0714 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.0357 1.0357 now what does this mean 0 0.1 multiplied by function of x and y now you have to put down instead of x this value instead of y this value i can write down on the side now 1 divided by we have the function 1 divided by x plus y so instead of x i have to take 0 0.45 plus y value is 1.0357 which is equal to 1 divided by 0.45 1 see 1 divided by 0.45 plus 1.0357 right which is equal to 0 0.6730 0 0.6730 so here i can write down now 0 0.6730 multiplied by 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 which is equal to which is equal to 0 0.0673 this is our k2 value now we have to find k3 so k3 formula we have here h of f of x naught h of f of x naught plus h by 2 comma y naught plus k2 by 2 okay so which is equal to h value is 0 0.1 function of x naught value is 0 0.4 plus h value is 0 0.1 divided by 2 comma y naught value is 1 plus k2 we have calculated 0 0.0673 divided by 2 okay these questions are very simple and formula based you can easily grab 20 marks from this particular module okay it depends on your practice how much you are practicing then only it becomes compatible for the student to score in these uh, numerical methods so now let me calculate this much 0 0.1 multiplied by function of this is your 0 0.4 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.45 again we are getting 0 0.45 comma this much that is 1 plus 0 0.06 seven three divided by two which is equal to one point zero three three one point zero three three six right so zero point one multiplied by what does this mean now function of x and y so here i will write one divided by instead of x i have to take zero point four five instead of y we have to take one point zero three three six now put down these values 
1 divided by 0 0.45 plus 1.0336 which is equal to nothing but 0 0.6740 multiplied by this so I can write down first here 0 0.6740 multiplied by 0 0.1 which is equal to we are getting 0 0.0 0 0.0674 this is our k3 value now we have to find last that is k4 value k4 is equal to h of f of x naught plus h h of f of x naught plus h comma y naught plus k3 y naught plus k3 which is equal to 0 0.1 multiplied by function of x naught is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1 comma y naught value is 1 plus k3 we have calculated 0 0.0674 which is equal to 0 0.1 multiplied by function of 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1 that is 0 0.5 comma 1 point this so 1.0674 these are our x y value 0 0.1 multiplied by function of this so i can write down here 1 divided by x value is nothing but 0 0.5 plus 1.0674 okay so put down these values 1 divided by 0.5 plus 1.0674 which is equal to 0 0.6379 0 0.6379 so multiplied by 0 0.6379 this is our function of xy okay function of xy this is again function of xy why i am writing don't be confused so this is our given equation that is dy by dx is equal to 1 by x plus y this is nothing but function of xy so i have calculated on the side so that I will put down these values in this particular k4. So now this you have to multiply 0 0.1 point 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.6379 which is equal to 0 0.0637 okay this is our k4 value. So all the slopes we have calculated now we have to put down these k1, k2, k3, k4 value in this particular equation y of x1 is equal to y0 plus 1 by 6 right so here i can write down now y at x1 is equal to y naught plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 this is our branch cutter method of fourth order now put down the values so it was mentioned in the question to find y at x is equal to 0 0.5 so i can write down y at 0 0.5 is equal to y naught value is nothing but 1 which is given in the question see here y naught is equal to 1 right plus 1 by 6 k1 we have calculated which is 0 0.0714 then plus 2 multiplied by k2 k2 we have calculated here 0 0.0673 0 0.0673 plus 2 multiplied by k3 k3 also we have calculated 0 0.0674 plus k4 value k4 value is here 0 0.0637 Nine. Now put down these all values in your calcium, we will get the required answer. See here, 1 plus division mode 1 divided by 6 bracket start 0 0.0714 plus 2 multiplied by uh, 0 0.67, 0 point, sorry, 0 point, uh, 0.0673 plus, sorry, this is bracket close plus. 2 multiplied by 0 0.0674 right bracket close plus 0 0.0679 bracket close which is equal to 1.067 1.0674 so this is our value for this y at 0 0.5 okay y at 0 0.5 is equal to 1.0674 so this is the simplest method and accurate method as compared to the or Taylor series method, modified universe method, okay, and range cutter method of second order. So I hope you have understood this problem very well. So make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates who are struggling with the mathematics subject. Thank you.